Welcome back to another updated review where we'll be diving deeper into Celsius Network, which is a US-based crypto lending platform that promises high yield on your crypto deposits. So there has been a lot of news surrounding Celsius lately, which is why we will be dissecting that new information to be able to evaluate whether Celsius is safe or whether you should avoid using this platform. My name is Jakub from P2P Empower, and if you are new to this channel and uh, your goal is to become more knowledgeable in the area of crypto lending or P2P lending, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to not miss out on future videos. So before we start, I want to let you know that this is no investment advice. We'll be simply sharing the latest findings from independent reputable sources regarding the events surrounding Celsius. So if this is your first time that you hear about Celsius, it's a crypto lending site where you deposit your cryptos and the platform uses your funds to generate income that is being paid out to you in the form of interest. The platform is offering double digit returns on stable coins and relatively high yield on some of the more exotic tokens. Celsius is also offering interest on Bitcoin and Ethereum holdings and the rate that you get is dependent on the jurisdiction as well as the amount of the cryptos that you are depositing. So in short, if you are storing your crypto on exchanges for free, you might as well store it on Celsius and get a yield for it. That's basically the main arguments for crypto lending platforms. That sounds pretty straightforward, right? If you look at the track record of the CEO, Alex Mashinsky, who is a serial and successful entrepreneur, it certainly increases your trust in Celsius. Alex is also regularly answering some of the questions from the community during weekly AMAs and shares his opinions with some of the more popular creators here on YouTube. When we shot to Celsius and requested an interview with the CEO regarding how the platform generates yield, we got declined. Also, when we reached out with questions regarding the stablecoin regulations and its impact on crypto platforms, we just didn't hear back from Celsius, which means that we didn't have really a good experience with the support of the platform. Many viewers perceive the CEO as an inspiring entrepreneur, and I can certainly understand why. He's often criticizing the dysfunctional financial system and arguing that his platform is the solution to the problem. The company itself has also managed to attract over 460,000 active users who earn close to 1 billion US dollars in yield. Celsius is currently managing around 26 billion of users' crypto assets, and so far there is no evidence that any of those users have lost any crypto on Celsius network. So this looks pretty good from the outside who would not like to join over 460,000 active members and earn passive income on your crypto. On top of that, Celsius covers all the gas fees, so you can save a lot of money on the transaction costs when transferring crypto to the Celsius wallet. But that's not all. By transferring a 400 USD worth of crypto and staking it for 30 days, you will also get $50 in crypto for free. So by using Celsius, you get basically free money, and who doesn't love to get free money, right? Now, What's the catch here? When depositing crypto on Celsius, you're basically trusting the company not to run away with your crypto or participate in any shady business. At the end of the day, your crypto is not FDIC insured and by depositing your coins to Celsius, you are also losing ownership over them. This is not a secret as it's also clearly represented in Celsius terms and conditions. Furthermore, Celsius is not regulated by anyone, so no one is verifying the processes of Celsius or its business partners. The safety of your deposits on any crypto lending platform, by the way, depends on two main factors. One is the trustworthiness of the people running the company, and the second is the business model that allows them to generate the yield. Now, Celsius claims to be well diversified in terms of income streams. The platform is generating yield through lending money to borrowers that offer crypto as collateral, but uh, Celsius is also providing liquidity to DeFi projects, uh, lending crypto to exchanges or institutions, and investing in mining facilities. So that's basically all the info you will get when you request information about how they make yield on your crypto deposits. In reality, no one is auditing the company and its business models, which means that they can use your crypto for anything they want in order to generate the yield. This is potentially extremely risky. And to be frank with you, Celsius is not transparent about its business model, so you end up investing in a black box that has been built up on the trust into the brand and its CEO. So far, they have been able to deliver on the promises towards clients Sure, um, the company is constantly changing the interest rate on your crypto deposits, but that's nothing new in the crypto lending space. Other than that, there is not much to complain about. Um, the yield is being paid out weekly, and there haven't been any frozen accounts or transaction delays so far. The Celsius app is also very easy to use, so there is really no problem, right? Well, 
Let's have a look at some of the latest events surrounding Celsius Network. On 17th of September, Alabama, New Jersey and Texas announced a cease and desist action against Celsius with the claim that the company is offering unregistered securities with its Earn Rewards account program. On the 23rd of September, Kentucky security regulators ordered Celsius Network to cease and desist from offering its interest-paying accounts in Kentucky with the same argument. Quote, the department has become aware that the company is offering securities in the form of investment contracts in exchange for the deposit of assets with the company. These investment contracts allow passive investors to earn profit in the form of interest on the assets deposited with the company and qualify as securities under the Act. The authority in Kentucky has also added a screenshot of the relevant law in their report that describes what are securities. In short, regulators don't know how Celsius is generating the yield and whether they are involved in risky or illegitimate transactions that are putting your cryptos at risk. Regulators simply want to have an oversight of companies that are active in the financial space to avoid potential fraud and loss of clients' deposits, which is, by the way, quite common in the crypto space. At the end of the day, no one is really overseeing Celsius' business practices, and the company claims to manage over 26 billion US dollars of clients' assets without any proper audits whatsoever. Regulators have a very fair point as Celsius is not disclosing any details about how they generate the yield, which is quite concerning. The company is obviously disagreeing with the regulators by claiming that they are not offering securities. So basically, they do the same thing as any other crypto lending company, disagreeing with the regulators and denying any wrongdoing. It's also worth noting that Celsius has exited the UK market due to regulatory uncertainty. This also means that users from the UK are no longer allowed to join Celsius. In connection to the regulatory matters, it's also relevant to read the latest reports on stablecoins that is suggesting reasonable regulation for centralized stablecoin issuers. The authors of the report proposed that there should be a federal oversight on crypto lending platforms, and those should be restricted from lending customers stablecoins. There are a lot of interesting insights in the report, and if you would like me to make a video about it and how it affects the entire crypto market or crypto lending platforms, let me know in the comments below. The regulatory crackdown on crypto lenders is not the only issue that Celsius is currently facing. A few months ago, Prime Trust, which is a crypto custodian that uh, held some of Celsius' assets in the past, has terminated the collaboration with Celsius Network due to endlessly rehabilitating assets. That is a red flag and something you should pay good attention to, as this is directly connected with the business model that Celsius is following. Prime Trust did not want to publicly comment on this matter, but they were clearly not on board with how Celsius is generating yield. If you don't know what is rehypothecation, it's basically the use of borrowers collateral for trading or any other strategies that generate yield, which may be potentially very risky. Celsius, as most of the lenders, denied the criticisms, although in their terms and conditions, it clearly says that they may engage in rehypothecation. Not long ago, Celsius took also a 1 billion US dollars loan from Tether in exchange for Bitcoin as collateral. Alex Mashinsky confirmed that the the company is paying an interest rate of 5 to 6 percent to Tether. If you're not familiar with Tether, it's a stablecoin issuer from the Virgin Islands and also a lead investor in Celsius Network's funding round back in June 2020. I stumbled across this information when I started investigating Tether after one of our viewers here on P2P Empire was requesting a video about the regulation of tethers. The close connection between Tether and Celsius is pretty concerning if you're familiar with the Tether case where the company has been lying about its reserves. There are also a lot of shady business practices that Tether is involved in, and if you want me to make a video specifically about Tether, just leave a comment below. The bottom line is that Celsius is giving your Bitcoin to a shady offshore company that is printing fake money out of thin air with no oversight whatsoever. Are you surprised? Why? Celsius can do whatever they want with your crypto deposits. Alright, so to sum this up, regulators are concerned about Celsius' business practices, and so is Celsius from our partner Prime Trust. The company is also closely working with Tether, which has been just recently fined 41 million by the US Commodity Futures Trading Commission for lying about its cash reserves. If you think that's all of the bad news around Celsius, well, you're wrong. Just a few days ago, the CFO of Celsius was arrested in Israel. The charges are unclear, but it has to do with Moshi Hogek, who got arrested on suspicion of money laundering, fraud, and sexual assault. Hogek is also connected to controversial crypto companies and venture capital firms such as Syrian Labs or Singularity Team, where the arrested CFO Yarom Shalem was previously employed. 
There are suggestions that uh, free ICOs launched by Syrian Labs, Stocks, and Leadcoin, which raised 250 million US dollars from investors, were scams. So why should you care, you might be wondering. Well, if you check the archives of Syrian Labs advisors, you can see Alex Mashinsky here, who is the founder and CEO of Celsius Network. One of the community members actually asked Alex about the arrest of his CFO, and this is Alex's answer. Um, yeah, I don't know uh, much about it, so I don't know the... Uh, what's happening there. So as we are recording this video, there hasn't been any further official explanation released by Celsius. So what does it all mean now? Well, crypto fans will tell you it's all fat and that you should ignore those events. That's the classic response from crypto promoters, especially here on YouTube. Then there will be those who have used Celsius without any issues in the past who will tell you that Celsius is the best platform. Keep in mind that if someone is using a platform, it doesn't mean that the platform's business practices are legit. Even myself, I have used Celsius for about eight months without any issues whatsoever. But if you find time to dive deeper into the Tether case, read the regulator's report about stablecoins, as well as the cease and desist orders for crypto lenders, and analyze the latest events surrounding Celsius, you will likely change your opinion, or at least be more uh, open-minded towards various versions of the story. So what's the takeaway from this video? Is Celsius a scam or not? Well, it's up to you to decide. After I've analyzed the latest events, I am uh, no longer confident in business practices that Celsius is following. And for that reason, we won't be recommending this platform until it's fully regulated and audited. As of today, I think that the risk and reward ratio on Celsius, but also on many other crypto lending platforms is completely off. If you're holding your crypto and expect it to increase in the value in the future, the safest way is to store it on a hardware wallet like the one from Trezor and stay away from crypto lending completely. The lack of transparency surrounding the business model of crypto lenders is by far the biggest risk in crypto lending that no one is really paying attention to and it exposes your portfolio to unnecessary risks. But that's just my own opinion, which is uh, based on my own findings. If you are interested in this topic, don't just listen to what I'm telling you. I encourage you to do your own research and look for third-party resources outside of YouTube that contradict your own opinions. Research facts and stay away from marketing articles or just paid promotions and be extremely critical about the information that you get from crypto lenders. At the end of the day, no shady business will admit wrongdoing and if you are waiting for regulators to decide, it may be already too late. So this video is not here to tell you that everything is bad. The utility of crypto as collateral is actually a really good idea where both borrowers and depositors can benefit from. But in order for this to work, there needs to be an oversight in place. Otherwise, there is a huge opportunity for shady actors to scam retail investors and borrowers. Now, this video might probably not get many views as it's not so popular to criticize crypto lenders. But if you have learned anything from it, leave a like. And if you're interested in more videos like this one, subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss out on future releases. If you want to support us even more, you can also invite me for a coffee, which helps a lot, especially when doing research for videos like this one. To protect the interest of our community here on YouTube, but also of our readers on p2pimport.com, we have actually issued a warning for investors that are using Celsius networks to pay close attention to the latest events. If you want to get educated about the latest developments of Celsius network, head over to our dedicated news section. So that's it for me today. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.